Imagine a robotic system enabling a surgeon to operate on a live beating heart while perceiving it as completely still. Such a system requires a haptic feedback loop running at 3 kHz to connect the surgeon's feel, the most important of surgeon's skills, to remote surgical instruments, compensating for the movements of the beating heart and allowing better control over highly precise cuts and stitches. Now imagine another system, one that enables astronauts at a space station to remotely operate planetary rovers. In this system, data packets travel millions of miles and may take minutes to reach their destination. Packet loss is not uncommon across such long-distance unreliable data links, so that the system requires tolerance of time delay and data loss that occurs when signals are sent between space station, satellites, and land-based devices. So, what do Mars exploration and minimally invasive robotic surgery have in common? In some ways, the technology and communication requirements couldn't seem more different. And yet, both robotic systems run on top of the same data-centric core connectivity architecture using the most widely adopted, open, industry-leading standard for real-time and embedded systems, the Data Distribution Service, DDS. So how can DDS address so seemingly different connectivity requirements at opposite ends of the spectrum? DDS uses highly efficient, Publish, subscribe, peer-to-peer -peer connectivity model that keeps data structured and visible at all times without message brokers or expensive data conversions into unstructured streams. DDS also provides applications with very precise real-time control over quality of service. Quality of service can tell applications how the data should be sent. For example, the reliability protocol feature of DDS gives you a choice between sending data reliably or best effort. It is configured very different for NASA and the surgical robot. The surgical robot cannot afford to lose any data and therefore sends negative acknowledgments very aggressively. The timeout can be set to dozens of microseconds. On the other hand, the NASA rovers set the timeout to seconds, taking the inherent latency of the data link into account. This kind of reliability QoS settings make DDS the only protocol that works optimally in these very different scenarios. Its versatility makes it an ideal foundation for virtually any type of robotics application. RTI Connects DDS is available for free evaluation. See how you can use Connects DDS in your own robotics system today.